we feel like by by reinstilling our children with a deep sense of culture and value that we can help them find their way. The Hikino on PBS Hawaii 2023 Fall Challenge, supported by State Farm. Coming in first place in the high school division, Kapa'a High School on Kauai. Congratulations. When you make any kind of lei, you really need to be doing it with a good heart. You should have good mana that you're putting into that lei because you're passing that mana on to whoever you're gifting that lei to or whoever's getting that lei. Creating feather lei takes time, patience, and tremendous skill all of which Laura Kavailehua Wolfgang does to promote Hawaiian culture and share this traditional craft with others. In the recent years, cultural arts are coming back very strong and lehulu, feather making, is one of those. In the old days, it was only for the royalty. The royalty would give it as prized gifts to people who would come from other countries. So when you buy a feather lei, you're not just buying a lei that's gonna last for a few days. And they last generations, it's an heirloom. Deeply rooted in the traditional attire of Hawaii Zoli'i, these intricate pieces have become more than just a gift. I started making lei as a little girl with flowers like everybody else, and I started seeing halaus wearing the feather lei. And of course, if you watch anything, of Hawaiian culture, the societies you see, the pa'u court, you know, the queens and princesses of the islands during like Kamehameha Day and stuff, you'll always see them with some type of feather lei. Usually it's yellow, because that was the first color of feather lei. In order to preserve Hawaiian culture, some of Kauai's residents have taken an interest in supporting traditional craft makers, even learning how to create unique lei themselves. We feel like by, by reinstilling our children with a deep sense of culture and value that we can help them find their way. If I can pass on a desire to want to learn this craft, then I feel like I'm doing Laura's kumu a justice. Those hoping to learn more about these historical traditions are dependent on highly qualified individuals who are only allowed to teach by their kumu. The gratitude that comes to us as we think about what Laura has passed on to us is something that I know I will treasure for a lifetime. It's kind of like, you know, fashions come around, 80s fashions are back again, right? Lehulu is coming around, but there's more modern versions of it. There's no borders, there's no limits to what you can do and how you can modernize it to be appealing for you. If you want to help perpetuate the culture, if you want a nice heirloom to pass down in the family, that would be a good reason to buy a feather lei or to make one. This is Cade Woodward from Kapa'a High School for Hiki no on PBS Hawaii. State Farm would like to congratulate all of the winners of the Hikino on PBS Hawaii 2023 Fall Challenge for their outstanding work and amazing storytelling.